Hello and welcome to another episode of Excel Learning Series with Syed. In this episode, we will cover VLOOKUP. To follow along with me, make sure you have a copy of this file downloaded using the link in the video description. I have three worksheets in this workbook. See it, do it and data. See it is where I will demonstrate. Do it is where you will practice. And data is where our data is living for us to look up the values. So let's begin. Before I do anything, let me explain what VLOOKUP is. VLOOKUP is a great function that will help you to look for certain values in any given range of Excel. For example, I can pick up a value, go look for that value in a certain table and bring in the adjacent column values. VLOOKUP takes four arguments. The first one is what is that you want Excel to look for? Second, where do you want Excel to look for? Third, what should be returned if the value is found? And finally, should it be exact or an approximate match? Let us take a close look. I want a department name for all these employee IDs. All those employee IDs have come from this data sheet. So let me go to see it and hold this position of B2. Start typing in VLOOKUP. As soon as I see the function, press tab on the keyboard to complete that function. Now I want Excel to look for this value. Where do Excel look for that value? The table array. I will go to the data tab and click on the first column A and holding the left key of my mouse down, I'll span this across till the column E. That's the department name I want. So from the first column till the last column in our selection, what's the column number? A, B, C, D, and E. That's the fifth column. So I want Excel to return the fifth column value if the value is found in the first column. Then I want it to be the exact match. So I enter zero. If it has to be approximate, you enter one. Now I am entering zero. Close the bracket and press enter on my keyboard. As soon as I press enter, you see the department name has been found. All I have to do is drag this down to find the department names for other employee IDs. Let's do it again one more time. I press equal to type in VLOOKUP, press tab on my keyboard to complete this function. Then I select this ID and this time I am looking for country information. So I go to data tab holding the left key down of my mouse. I will drag this across till the country column, column A to column G. That's the seventh value. That's what I want. If the value in the column one is found, I want the seventh column value. So I press seven, then comma, and I want the exact match. So I press zero, close the bracket and press enter. Now I will simply drag this down and I will have the names of the countries for other employee IDs too. So this is how we do VLOOKUP. Don't worry if you are not getting it. Just rewind this video and watch it again. You will get it. Trust me, this is very simple. I want you to practice as much as you can in order to retain your learning. So go to the do it sheet and try to find out the values for first name, last name, full name, department, start date and country. You have these employee IDs. They are from this data sheet. So make sure that you practice as much as you can. In the next episode, I will cover more dimensions of VLOOKUP. This was how to do VLOOKUP in the same workbook, in the same worksheet. But how do we do it from different workbooks, from different worksheets? We will take a look at it in the next episode. So stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and click on that little bell icon to enable notifications from my channel. Thank you so much. Stay happy. Stay lovely. Until next time.